y'all it's big nude and i'm in a big mood okay i keep forgetting to film intros outros i just be putting videos up with no explanation no nothing so i'm filming an intro so this video started out as like a hair review i grabbed a 70 dollar wig off of amazon and that was what the video was going to be about however it turned into something else. So let me let me briefly explain. So I'm sure like every town city is like this, but you know, every you know, everybody has like an annual white party in the summertime or so in addition to that, we have a party every year called Summer Black. And you know, I've been making it my business to be more sociable, to get outside more despite what's going on outside. We're not going, you know, we know what's going on outside. So when the summer black party got posted, um, I was excited. I'm like, oh shit, let's go to summer black. It's my favorite color to wear anyway. I already had black outfits in the closet that with tags on them. Like it was pretty much a no brainer. So I, then I was like, oh, this wig is cause I got a 613 like blunt bulb cut wig. So I was like, this is really gonna pop with all this black. So Throughout the video, like, I'm going to do voiceovers, but basically, it was a fail. It was a whole fail, and it wasn't the wig's fault. It was my fault for using some old-ass hair color, which, you know, don't do that. Learn from me, and don't do that, but it turned into, like, an awesome mistake, and that's how we got to that slime color. And then, at the end, I did add a little, like, vlog footage for you guys from the party. The party was wiggity wiggity whack, even though we, we got there... The party was from 6 to 10. We got there at 9. But I would think, like, the last hour would be the most lit. And it just wasn't. Like, people was just standing around. Like, it was it was at a hotel, like, in a ballroom. But it was also outside. And, like, most of the people were outside. And it, was, it felt like a big cookout. Like, people was just standing around talking to each other. Like, and that was already cool with each other. Like, so nobody was really dancing. Like, it wasn't a party. I was trying to go catch a vibe, you know, have a little fun. That was my first time, like, really going out since everything happened. But even though the party was wiggity, wiggity, whack, we still went outside and we still enjoyed ourselves because that's what the fuck we going to do anyway, despite this wet crowd. And, um, and it's probably the same thing going on in, like, most cities where now everybody's just so bougie, so, like, uppity, so very much like, you can't sit with us. Like, and it's like, for what? It seemed like the guys was there for the guys and like the girls was kind of trying to have fun. But the guys was really like peacocking around a party. Like they wanted people to see their outfit and like very like the popular people in the city, the promoters, like, you know, them kind of people like very much like you let's do another lap before we commit to a location. Like they was giving that and they was giving it to each other. And I watched them like. I would watch, like, you know, a really pretty girl walk by or a girl with, like, a really nice body walk by just to see, like, if the guys paid them any attention because they sure weren't paying me and my homegirl no attention. And mind you, this is an all-black party, and we the only people there with colored hair. Like, she literally had, like, ice white hair, and I have lime green hair, and, like, they wouldn't even look our way. And I watched them, and they were look they didn't look in any women's way. They really just weren't there for the women, so... I feel like Baltimore is turning into an Atlanta with these these guys on down low cuz yeah it's 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 some but um anyway we didn't go for the guys I'm just just snoting you'll see it in the footage later I did manage to get a few clips um so yeah also <laughs> Got my grill by Johnny, you know what I'm saying? He just left the crib. He flew on from Texas, you know? <laughs> Psych. Ah, the gap is leaving, y'all. The gap is leaving. I just really want to get my teeth really straight and really, like, healthy and together. Um, I thought about getting veneers because they're literally cheaper than braces now. Uh, my braces were 5800 $5, you can go get some veneers for three. But they they not going to be able to close up my gap. I got some teeth missing, some side teeth. Don't tell nobody. Um, so, 
I'm on my healthy teeth journey in the meantime between time. But, like, how y'all like them? Let me know. Comment down below. I'm getting used to them. I think they're cute. I really like them. So, um, thanks for hanging in there. This is a long-ass intro. Like, maybe this is why I don't film intros. So, yeah. Bear with me and my wig fail. And see a little piece of party vlog. And stay tuned. Thanks, guys. Bye. So, this is the wig that I got from Amazon. The brand is Suya. I'm going to link it down below in the description box in case you want to cop. I had already opened it because it's on the wig stand, obviously. But it came, like, in the standard little net. You know, nothing, nothing serious. They provided me a few gifts. I really wish these companies would stop doing this. But you get a wig cap. And, uh... I guess that was it um so this is a 613 10 inch bob wig i really wouldn't say like you could do a side part but you couldn't do a deep side part because on the sides the there's really no part in area like it's very small right there that's what i'm trying to show y'all but as you can see this wig is soft it's flowing the color really isn't bad like it's a little yellow but it did come with baby hair I don't like blonde baby hair. I just don't. So I didn't choose to use those, but it was cool. So at this point, the, the plan was to add a root to this wig and then tone it. So I got my Vaseline and my color brush, applicator brush, whatever you want to say. And I'm just um, about to apply the Vaseline to the lace so that the color doesn't bleed. Those are just my T-pins that I use. I definitely actually don't recommend them because the lace gets stuck in them. So I would get the kind that have like the little pearl head on top if you're going to get them. But again, this is just to protect the lace from the darker hair color of the root that I'm going to add in, as you can see. Yeah, and this will help you see the construction on the cap as well. The wig was like nicely constructed. Honestly, like I didn't have any complaints. There's a strap in the back. There's several combs on the sides um showing y'all the lace now which that lace wasn't it wasn't good y'all it just wasn't good but it was 70 dollars. so what, what do you really expect you know this is just me putting a vaseline on really important to make sure it's really really on there and that you didn't miss any spots um, cause you do not want that color on the lace and then why did i put this outfit on it's like the most unflattering outfit ever to film a video and like why wow, i just i look like big mama but you know whatever we're gonna move on so next i'm about to apply the color so i have a bowl this is this color two and quick story that color was old and i looked up online how to tell if your color was too old and they said to squeeze some out in the trash can and if it looks like weird or miscolored or something then to like not use it but when i squeeze it out it looked fine so i thought Let's just go ahead and continue to use it. And this is really where everything went wrong. I'll link the products down below, but that was just the color, the cream developer, some shimmer lights to tone the wig um, after, and a bowl to mix it up in. So off camera, I already pinned the wig down. Um, right now, I'm just sectioning the wig off to sexual, section the frontal from the actual bundles because i'm just adding a root so there's no point in dyeing the whole wig and giving it a root like it's just i mean you can but like nobody's going to see it now that everything is sectioned off i'm just mixing together the color and the developer like that and you know i'm really just you know in my own little world at this point i'm really thinking it's gonna work out and this is this is going to be the shit right here because I have another 613 wig that I did tone and do the um, roots on and it came out perfectly. So at, at this point, I'm just like super confident and really feeling like this is going to bust. So at this point, I'm already thinking something's up with the color because that was a dark brown and it was turning like gray and mucky and it was just getting really gross looking but i, I was still holding out y'all i was still holding out hoping for the best so in addition to this color being off i 
like as you can see on the right side it's way too much of a root like i literally just wanted like a half an inch of a root and i don't know why i spread it and combed it out like that i just really effed this up and um I, it's you could tell you could tell i already knew like it was done it was done all right as you can see this is what's left after i used the uh activated baking soda solution definitely lightened it back up i think that's an awesome home remedy compared to what was here but <laughs> we gotta go a little lighter so i bought some um how to get this color remover from l'oreal um i'm gonna do it like this it's medium shades of permanent color actually dark shades of permanent color it's kind of a medium now but we're just gonna mix it with some 20 developer and leave it on it for 35 minutes and see what see what happens and if it's not lighting up i'm just leave it on there some more so here is my color remover i just got this so when I went to the beauty supply to pick the remover up, I did pick up the lime green dye just in case this didn't work out. The color remover did, as you can see, do a good job lifting most of that brown out. I did have to do two rounds of the color remover to get it out and I still wasn't satisfied. I couldn't get it back to the original blonde. So I did end up using the lime green hair dye, which I'm so glad I did. I stepped out there, y'all, and tried something new and it felt great. It's the hair for me. It's the hair. It's the hair. It's the hairs. Okay. Okay. Because mm. we out there. It's having a little. A little. A little this, a little that. A little this now. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> it's the wax there. No, we out here. Street poking, but we got back there. Yep. We, we at the function. With no cash. And it's a cash ball. Cash ball. But don't nobody carry no cash. No ATM. How ghetto. It's upsetting me and my homegirl. That's all right, because we, we already playing on the escapade. Don't even worry about it. Thanks for the rest. So at this point, we hungry, we leaving, and we end up on Baltimore Street because that's the only thing that was open, and that shit was a mess. So y'all know this is the strip. This is Baltimore Street where all our strip clubs are, but like, it was so much going on. Like, just, I couldn't even believe I hadn't been down here in so long, but it was just really, it made me sad. It made me sad for my city because the block used to kind of like be lit, and now it's just like a wasteland. And it was a bunch of junkies and it's just like young homeless people and just like people scattering like roaches from side to side. Just like big drama. Mm -hmm. That's it. Y'all comment, like, and subscribe. And I can't wait to see y'all on the next one. Thank you so much for my new subscribers. Each and every one of y'all counts. I love reading y'all positive messages. And I like knowing that I'm helping y'all. So like... Thank you. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching me. Um, and I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye.